Hot damn! Hey there everyone, I'm Robin. Log sample likelihood. Welcome back to practicing unconnected marketeers. Today we're gonna go with spell practice in I think stages one and two. That should be absolutely fine. We'll encounter a few troubles, but we should be able to figure figure them out easily enough. Nothing compared to what happened last time. I can still basically walk into stuff. I'm not ready. My mind is still in the introduction and not in the play. So there, this explains it all. Also, she... Ow. Yeah, my mind is not there. <coughs> she, uh, Mickey stands in the middle. Is that it? No, she moves. No, no, she's moving. She's moving to entertain her guests, but she moves. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I did that completely wrong, but I still live. And that's good. Anyway. So a fine attack, but given that we messed up twice, we're gonna, we you know, you know, we're gonna need to do this again. Beckon side. Oh, it's because the the mannequin echoes have this uh, beckoning gesture. Oh, 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 I am sure that's what it means. Beaten. There you go. I can beat it twice in a row. That means I can always beat it. Next. Game mode, yep, zero out of one. I remember that one annoying me. The problem is those yellow bubbles. This is the problem. Well, there's other problems too. Also, there's a nice rain effect. Wow. Hey, this is difficult. What? <laughs> Maybe the problem isn't just the yellow bubbles. There's, there's loads surprisingly high amount of those uh, kind of straight shots. Damn it. Yeah, I saw I saw the thing. I was stuck. Yeah, this is not easy. Because there's just lots of stuff. I guess you... Yeah, and they... They keep shooting for a while, so you think you have a safe spot. Actually, you don't really. How... Oh, what? Apparently I live, but this is... This is not, this is not rule compliant. I did not comply to the rules here. No, 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 sir, no, madam. Also, I can use my upward move. Oh, Actually, yeah, the yellow bubbles didn't have the problem. There, there would be a problem if maybe in normal mode, where I just want to stay in place and not move. But here. There's so many of those rainbow shots. I have to move a lot. Where is she? She's here. Oh, that was close. Hitbox hacks. I'm not okay with this, mostly because it feels that I'm mostly using hitbox hacks to survive. I mean, part of the rules, but... Uh, Feels that I, you know, things I didn't register as being dangerous actually were almost hitting me. So that's bad. Um, yeah. Those lines of uh, rainbow shots, rather, those rainbow lines of shots are really unpredictable because there's new ones very late into the wave. So maybe this is a safer way. Really look for an open space and get in there. And then move a bit. So, okay, this is better. I can't believe I'm putting so much practice into a stage one card. Because we're not done. We're not done. I beat it this time. That felt better than previous times. We are not done. Oh, no. I see it opening here. That was bad. Yeah, that was really bad. I guess away from her is better. But then, there's this whole thing about doing damage. That went very well, but it just felt that this happened because we were exactly in a good space. Compressed R on this menu, and that puts you straight at the restart. So first wave, try and not move. Goodness, that was close. And here, try and go in this place and then 
Actually, mm -hmm. that was close, but that was good. Actually, so what I was saying is that if you're aware of the fact that there's some late waves, then it's more manageable, I think. You're, I'm not gonna get surprised as much. So I see there's a late wave that went straight for me, but I just. Oh, yeah, I dodged it. That was not a late wave. That was a fast wave from the from the left. So, can we reach a ah, 50% capture rate? Uh oh. Uh oh. We need to win twice in a row to get 50% now. Getting, getting rough. Do, 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 do. Uh, this is scary. We survived somehow. Yeah. Okay, okay. 7 out of 15. We reach 8 out of 16 when we beat this one. I assume they're still using the ways they did previously, so we have... Oh, shoot! Stop losing. Yeah, I think... I think... Wait, I think I'm just gonna accept that I can't do this consistently? What? That is so shameful. Also, I have a question. I have a very important question. The game puts me at full power here. Does it give the spell card more health to compensate? It, it does feel a little bit short. Wow, that was good. That was close. We reached a 9 out of 18, so let's say let's say that this is 50% percent on this count is consistent enough. Eh. Stage 2. There's only three of them, so it's going to be too short, too fast, too long either. True tree veiling technology. Let's go. Forest sign. So apparently I lost last time. This is rather scary actually. Nah, it's alright. Except if she moves, just gets in line. Ooh, I was a bit too close here. I was a little bit too close. This one is fine, apparently, but we're gonna do it twice. Because we need we need to be good at this game. We need to be good at this game, not just bomb everything. It's basically yeah, put yourself in a lane that move. Yeah, it's it actually it's it's whatever. It's it's actually very much whatever. Just go in and dodge. Let's do a third time just for good measure, but I think we're fine. Stop moving so much. She she moved a lot. She seems I moved a lot because this lasted way longer than the previous time. Anyway, we're fine. This attack is completely all right. Next, this one I captured in the game. Woo! Impressive, Mr. Robin. Bam! The innermost forest fortress. So, oh yeah, I'm surprised I did because uh, this is actually rather difficult. I remember, I remember struggling but managing. Maybe I'm better off in the center. Hey, at least for the... That was a wall. Maybe for the first wave I'm better off in the center. After that, since she's gonna move in a corner, then I can move in the, the opposite corner. Oh, that was... that was cool. It feels rather cool to dodge this, but... Oh! This is difficult. And you know, Forest Fortress, this makes me think of Mario World. This is difficult. No, this is difficult. Maybe I should actually go back to the corner. But even more cornery. Like this. Then just homing. I'm aware this is kind of cheating. Not bad. This works better. So. I think just my first few corner attempts weren't that good. Maybe I wasn't cornered enough.
Ah, I moved into that. I should do that thing where instead of looking at the shots, I look at the empty spaces with fewer shots. Okay, I dodged that, but I didn't feel comfortable doing it. I'm gonna brute for- Oh, there, that was good. That was like a, a proper opening. I just went up. But of course, that had feel deserved. Uncertain. Uncertain. So we're gonna keep trying. But maybe I'm supposed to just move up some more. I mean, I live. I live to tell the tale. Not that time, though. Yes, that time as well. But again, it doesn't feel earned. I'm not sure. It doesn't quite feel earned. Uh... Oh, so close. So close. Possibly, if I move in a single direction, it helps. So either go left or go right, but don't go both. This is an interesting concept. Oh, if you if you go too close, she shoots out those those orby things, huh? Okay, this is helpful. This seems helpful. Hmm, let's try again. Uh, he says, "Why quitting this menu?" Oops, can't believe it. this is this is the hardest card we've done yet. That's the only one I captured in an actual run. Strange. Yeah, I'm liking this method because you you can this way you can kind of focus on dodging only one direction. So we're gonna do this again. And win again, maybe. Obviously, I can follow the direction she goes. Look at this. So much success. I'm... I feel good about this. I feel good about this. So, we're done. And finally, green tornado. That's that's how you pronounce this word, right? Right, right, right? No, I know it's not right. It's actually green tomato. I know English. Green tomatoes do exist. So last time I almost beat it and something hit me right at the end. I truly don't understand how it works. Why does it feel so comfortable? That's my question. It should be really weird. But actually I, I just find the spaces and go in them. This is... Uh, Mysterious geometry. Takane Yamashiro, is it? She's a Yamawaro, she's called Yamashiro. That, that feels wrong. But we're gonna check soon. Okay, it is Takane Yamashiro. Is this actually her easiest attack? I guess it's easy to clip. But right now, I'm feeling very confident. So even when things get pretty close to this, it just feels innately deserving to be dodged. Boom! Ace! Very good. How about we end this with a quick run through of stage two? Because Takane has difficult things. I can give myself five cards. How about zero? How about zero? Just to make it worth our while. I'm gonna dive right to the start. Because we get no respite and also no respite. But we start with four power, which is way more than what we get at that point in the real run. So, in some sense, yeah, if I'm gonna balance out the power, then I could kill myself at the start. That also acts as a balance, but no. This is not something I'm gonna do. Oh, remember the days 
where greys would let you auto collect stuff. Those were the days. Um, ah, this 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 menu for resetting is a bit painful. So yeah, these are big fairies. They are not to be underestimated. But now we know. So basically, yeah, weave between the yellow things. Yeah, okay, so there's revenge bullets. I see there's revenge bullets. So I can just stop shooting for a while and then change directions. Stop shooting for a while, go up. Ah, ah. Yin Yang's are gone. Here. And how am I going to kill this one? Like this. There's in fact ample time. And the big cards give 50 money, I think. That's a lot. That died fast. That died really fast. I just kind of dodged it, which is which is good. It feels good. So, those of Ying Yangs, just kind of stream, stop shooting for a bit, take a risk. That's my name, Risk Taker. Unnecessary Risk Taker, Robin. They call me that. They did that back in high school. Damn it! I didn't do that one. It was also yeah. Seriously? Seriously? How do you do that? I have to bomb this. Also, we're lower on power, but uh, that's good practice. That is good practice. Let's go! So, non spells. Except that you're gonna get pushed in basically two directions and live your life accordingly. And then you're fine. Uh, tree veiling technology, that is just kind of kind of be there and you're fine. Yep. Hey, 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 that that could have been bad. Then accept. I'll accept my fate again. I'm a bit close to the bottom. There you go, I moved up a bit. I moved up a bit. Again. And there you go. So, this is the hard one. This is the hard one. Just... Oh yeah, we said... We said... Like that. Yep, I remembered! What's annoying that she moves left some more, but went fine. I learned this attack. I'm I'm quite happy. Happy Robin. Green tornado. Let's see if it surprises me at the end like it did last time. Yeah. Up 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 up. Ooh. It's being mean, it's being very mean. But on my butt. Whoa! Okay. Oh no, right at the end. <laughs> Literally the edge of the thing. Oh well, still, this went well. I mean stage two shouldn't be incredibly hard. But I'm glad that I figured out the attack that was challenging me. Great! Great, great. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Next time, obviously, we move on. Maybe just stage three, because uh, things might take longer. Thanks for watching. See you then. Bye.